Hey guys, um, we had a really overwhelmingly positive response to the Cosmos Mars project that I featured on here. I haven't seen anybody else talking about this. When I did the first video, the TLV was $11. Total value locked into this project was only $11. Um, I made that video yesterday. And today, if you check, the total value is still $322. So that's insane. Um, it's still extremely, extremely early if you do want to, are interested in this project. Um, you can't even farm yet for three days. So nobody's even been able to farm. The project is not even on the open market yet. Um, you can swap for Mars and you can, you can, you can kind of like pre-stake and pre-farm, just get everything set up. <clears throat> but it's not even live yet. So you can still get into this project um since i saw a lot of we had like a lot of comments we had people joining the cosmos telegram and socials after i made that first impressions video so because of that um you know that's basic supply and demand so if you guys show demand then i'm i'm gonna supply so what i wanted to do in this video is go over one of the key features that keeps sets mars apart from other projects if you go through their documentations, you see that they, they're big into the gamification of Mars, or not Mars, sorry, but just of like farms and yield farming and these types of projects. So that's one thing they're doing to stand out. And I think that's a good idea. It's always good to keep farming um, fun and enjoyable. It's already kind of an addicting process coming in and collecting your rewards and everything. So they're kind of just taking that a step further and adding even more features one of those features that i wanted to share with you guys i stumbled upon it is the boost feature so i was just taking a look at the farms and if you look if you look at them let me zoom in a little bit you can see all the normal type stuff you would have there's no deposit fees on the mars pairs so mars bnb mars busd but the other pairs they have the four percent deposit fee and from what I can tell, that's the only fee that's associated with this project for the most part is your deposit fees. So there's no transfer taxes or anything like that. You can see that the APRs are insane. That's because, you know, this project is not even live yet. So you can pre-stake and get in on this APR right away and not have to wait. But obviously that's a decision you'll have to make. So you can see they have the harvest lockup timer that's a feature that a lot of people are implementing right now that prevents different things like arbitraging and just incentivize people to hold on to their tokens a little bit then you have what we're going to talk about right here which is the boost and under the boost you have a lucky chance and it'll show you your ratio and your percentages on that one but we're not going to talk we're, i'm going to cover that in a different video what i want to talk about right now is this boost feature so how this kind of works is it's pretty it's pretty innovative um it's sort of like compounding but in a in, in like like they say it's more gamified it's more there's they add a chance element to it um some rng but basically what how it works is when you go to harvest you can instead boost your pool so let's say you have 10 Mars to harvest. Instead of harvesting those, you're actually giving them back into the system for increased rewards on your next harvest. So if you click on this um, question mark, it'll give you a lot more details onto what I'm saying. This is the documentations of Cosmos. You guys, if you are thinking about investing I highly suggest reading through all this you should do all the research you can before you put any money in um, so like I said when you go to harvest you have your two options you can either just harvest it like always or you can boost it and the boost is when the unique um, functionality comes in so like I said instead of harvesting you can boost your rewards that means that all future rewards will be boosted by a certain percent but you will have to sacrifice the pending rewards if you choose to boost. In other words, you will lose your pending rewards, but gain a boost in all future ones. 
So it's sort of like staking. It's sort of like recompounding in a way, but like I said, they gamified it. You're showing that you are invested in the system, and instead of taking your rewards right now, you're putting them back in and for a, a potential greater return on your future investments. So in a, it's a similar idea as instead of cashing out your profits, you stick them back in. Like I said, this one just adds a little bit more of a gamification to it. It makes it a little bit funner. And that's what Cosmos is, one of the things Cosmos is trying to do to set, to set its, um, itself apart from other projects. And what they say is you can even, um, I think you can stack it too. So you can keep boosting. And like they say right here, potentially upping your rewards to 100 to 200% or more. You can keep adding boosts indefinitely. So you can stack those just like with compounding. Another thing, this is a cool little GIF that'll show you since the pools aren't even live yet. Obviously, I, I'm not able, no one can harvest. It, um, so we can't, I can't give you an example, but they've done it for us right here with this GIF. And it's just doing, it's just showing you visual, visually what, um, what we just described. Instead of harvesting, you're going to hit the boost. Now, there's also this other feature called I Feel Lucky. And I'll get into that later, but how it relates to the boost is let's say you decide to boost you can still feel lucky on on that so basically just a quick example of what the I feel lucky is you have your harvest timer right so if you want to skip that harvest timer you can hit the I feel lucky button and you have a percentage chance of um, getting that harvest early now I don't want to I want to do some more research before I speak on it too much. There obviously has to be another side to that. So let's say you feel lucky and you don't um, get it. You probably play, paid some gas fees for that smart contract. And there's probably some sort of collateral, I would imagine. Otherwise, you could just always hit I feel lucky and there'd be no point of the, har of the harvest lockup. So like I said, I'm going to make a future video. I'm going to dive more deep into that so we can answer all those questions. Um... I just had to s sort of describe I feel lucky because when it comes to boosting, if you do decide to boost your pool instead of harvest, you can still use I feel lucky if you decide to. And that's described right down here as well. Um, and you can only boost your rewards when the harvest lockup is up. So you have to use that harvest as collateral. You can't just hit the boost button every time f for no cost. If you could, then this thing, it wouldn't work, right? So there has to be two sides to every coin. So that's where that risk comes in, but you also have the reward of the boost. Now, another question I have that I'm going to try to get answered for you guys, and I will update the description of this video when I do have an answer, is just like with everything, there has to be um, risk and reward. So my question is, the boost, right? So if you were to just harvest and then put that harvest back into your pool, back into your farm or your pool, then that would be compounding. So I would like to see like you could you can make um, some calculations to see what gives you a better return. Does the boost give you a better return or does just compounding your harvest every time? I'm guessing it, it might sway a little bit and that's part of the gamification so there's also just like a fun aspect to this a gambling type aspect to this which you don't have to participate in if you want your your rewards solidified every time then you can just hit that harvest button but if you want to if you want to take a little more risk if you want to use that mars as collateral for lack of a better word to to get your boost going you can do that as well. So it's kind of just more options depending on how lucky you feel, you know what I mean? Um, how how much you want to boost and how much you want to just solidify those harvests. So I'm excited for this project. Um, we're down to three days now until it's actually open and good to go. Three days and 18 hours. Um, I'm enjoying making content with for it. I'm enjoying the reaction I'm getting from the community. And hopefully that clears up a little bit about the boost function. Like I said, there's a couple questions I'm going to ask. Um, and when I get those answered, I'm going to let you guys know. I could even make updated videos, you know. Um, there's 
there's plenty of possibilities so hopefully that'll that'll um answer some questions on the boost or if you guys didn't even know about it because this project is so early hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of some of the ways they're trying to be different than other projects and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment please um join the mars socials this is an incredibly new project so they need to they need to have as much following as they can if they're going to succeed and i know my channel personally people seem to be interested they're messaging me and joining the socials so i wanted to continue with these videos um thank you guys i appreciate it and all the links will be in the description as well